Hey guys, it's Mira here. So for today's Decree Diaries series video, it's going to be a What's in My Bag University Edition. For the new semester, I managed to get my hands on the TikTok viral backpack, the IKEA. Dream sick. It is made up of recycled polyester. It is water resistant and comes in shades beige and olive green. I bought it in the shade beige, but honestly, the shades looks like light grey. So to add some spice to the minimal design bag, I decided to buy this enamel pins from Shopee. By the way, all of the stuff I bought will be linked in the description box. On the front pocket, I have a cats and coffee pin, woman and science pin, a test tube and round bottle flask with a universe inside it sort of pin and a be kind always pin. Then, on the main pocket, I have a green ribbon magnetic enamel pin that I purchased from Green Ribbon Group. My. It is a group that was established to empower organizations and individuals who are working to improve mental health care. Hence, proceeds from this pin will be used to help various initiatives that help with mental health. Apart from that, I have the caffeine molecular structure pin because I'm a chemical engineering technology student and I'm a geek. And I also have the always tired club pin which also sum up my life. And it's a bad day, not a bad life quote enamel pin just to remind myself whenever I am in the slums. So in the front pocket, there is another strap so you can turn your bag into a tote bag. There is also a key string where I attach my student ID card for easier access. And apart from that, I have a bag hanger to hang my bag on any table to save some space. The main pocket is a bit more compact. <laughs> It has a padded laptop sleeve where I keep a transparent folder for my graph paper and also my test pad in case there is any surprise quiz. And of course, my laptop, the Acer Swift 5 in rose gold. And in the middle compartment, I have my laptop charger. and my Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite. I also have a playlist of videos I've made about my tablet that you can check them in the info card. I also can fit my water bottle from Mr. DIY. It is nude in color and I love the frosted look of it. It can hold up to 800 milliliters, which is just enough for me. Then I have two cases, first is my pencil case where I have my pen, a pilot spotlighter in yellow, grey zebra mud liner and also a unicorn color line in light grey, a Muji mechanical pencil and of course my stylus. Then I have my ruler, correction tape, retractable small knife and my eraser. Oh and I also forgot my 2B 0.5 lead for my mechanical pencil. So this is actually a power bank case, hence why there is a small hole on the side to take out your cable to charge your phone. But I use this to keep my mouse. I also bought my USB and tablet adapter. Uh, since I don't have a power bank, I just bought my whole charger with me But you know what? It has a lot of... What is it called? Multiple ports? Multiple adapter? So I can charge my phone and also my tablet at the same time Next, there are two pockets and a smaller pocket near the zipper to keep your ear pods or maybe candy on the right pocket, I keep my phone or tablet stand. My Casio FX 570MS calculator. And also my wallet.
Then, on the left pocket is where I keep my hand sanitizer, also bought from Mr. DIY. And also an earphone case. I not only keep my earphone but also my iPhone earphone adapter. Behind the left pocket, there is actually a hidden pocket. Here is where I keep my aroma therapy inhaler and roll on from Fresh Care for my headaches. I also have the Vicks Vapor Rub for my stomach aches and an emergency panty liner and pad. So that is what I bring in my backpack. But of course it does vary from time to time and what I will be doing in campus. Apart from that, just a mini review. I do actually love this bag. <laughs> the quality feels premium even though it is made up of recycled polyester. And I also love the fact that it has a lot of compartments and pockets. However, there are three cons. First would be the price. This backpack costs 99 ringgit, which is definitely on the higher end. But I do believe the quality justifies the price. And second, even though it has a lot of compartments and pocket, the bag doesn't expand. So if you were to add a lot of stuff in your main pocket, such as your bulky laptop charger or your water bottle, you will have limited space in the front pocket. Lastly, this bag is always sold out. I was lucky enough to find it in IKEA Terbrow even though when I checked the website, it says that it wasn't in stock. But then, two weeks later, I went to IKEA again with my family and the bag is already sold out. So, if you went to IKEA and then you find that they have restocked the bag, trust me, go and grab it immediately. That is all. So, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and a like and I'll see you next time. Take care wherever you are. Bye-bye.